Last week, I, I kind of found something on the range. I was using it in my chipping, and all of a sudden, I incorporated it into my swing, and uh, I've been working on it into this week, and hopefully uh, that gives me exactly what I want, which is a crisp contact to be able to create the trajectory and get the right distance. Let me show you what it is. What I was doing before was I was breaking my wrist a little early, which was getting my elbow right behind me. So everything was kind of released, and sometimes it would release with my body and the club head wouldn't follow. Sometimes it would release right past my body. But either way, it's going to be inconsistent contact, creating inconsistent trajectory and distance. So what I tried to do was quiet the break in my right hand. So everything can go up with more of a piston move with my elbow as I'm turning. Making sure you're turning, which keeps the club on plane while you're doing that. But that piston move gave me a little more hit down at the bottom and a consistent hit at the bottom instead of flipping and letting the thing go. So it started to look a little bit more like this. One sixty-two. <laughs> uh, that's the thing. You got to guess your yardages after you hit it, and then go find out if you got it right. So you can play a little game with it. Just a little more of an elbow hinge than a wrist hinge. And you can think of it just as like a piston move. It's going to come up there, not breaking this one too, and then it's just going to come down just like a piston and release right down on top of that ball. Hopefully these keys will help you out. I hope they help me out this week too.